Roads in San Marco were definitely impacted by some of tonight's flooding. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever is live on LaSalle Street, where a convenience store owner is worried about his business flooding. Destiny. Ethan, unfortunately, these people in this area are having to deal with this once again. They already dealt with flooding during Hurricane Irma, and now a couple weeks later, they're having to deal with it again. You can see down here, the water is covering my boots here, and we spoke with the owner of this safari food store. He says he had to evacuate his business during Hurricane Irma. Car after car taking it slow through the flooded streets in San Marco. News 4 Jack's cameras caught emergency vehicles also taking it slow through the standing water. Down near the San Marco Theater, we caught up with people who say the flooding has been a concern, especially after Hurricane Irma. I have a friend here that lives in Towers, and uh, I can't really get a hold of her. She did go to the West Beaches to avoid the water. And it's, it's been a hardship on her. She had to leave her car, and she's quite elderly. The owner of Safari Food Store says his store flooded with over two feet of water during Irma. He says today's flooding was also concerning. It's kind of close to the store now, and with the water being high too, that kind of being dangerous a little bit to the store. And we've witnessed a couple people have trouble trying to get through here. There are also road signs telling you if you can take an alternate route, please do so. Reporting live tonight, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.